Hello and welcome to the Lorix Ping app for the iPhone. This video will highlight the app's features and settings. The app opens on the camera list menu. You have the playback menu, your local search menu, which searches for cameras on the connected Wi-Fi network, and then you have the app's information. Back to the camera list, tap the blue arrow next to the camera's name to open the camera's configurable settings. This menu shows you the camera's name, ID, and gives you many camera options to configure and customize to your needs. Let's start with alarm notifications. Now in some menus the authentication pop-up will appear. By default, type in admin for the username and leave the password blank, then press OK. Here you can switch video motion detection on and off, sound detection on and off, and adjust its sensitivity level, one being the highest sensitivity and ten being the lowest. Passive infrared, or PIR, motion detection on or off, and tap update to save your settings. Tap stream settings. This opens the mobile's bandwidth, and select your bandwidth level. And you can choose to turn the microphone on or off. Tap update to save your settings and the authentication window will be prompted again. Next is the video settings. Touch video. And here you can adjust the picture settings. For example, place you can set to outdoor, indoor, or indoor with sunlight. Let's go with indoor and sunlight. Preference, we of course want best quality. Time display on video on or off. And the option to flip the video to landscape. Tap night mode control. You can select auto, scheduled, or manual. Tap control. Here you can turn off the LEDs, which can get quite annoying for someone who is trying to sleep. And you can also adjust the motion sensitivity level. Let's keep it at 2. Then you have the camera settings menu. Here you have the camera's information. Network, where you can see the networks available, including Wi-Fi. So turn on the Wi-Fi and select what network you wish to connect the camera to. Also have schedule. Here you can modify the email alarm settings, such as the motion detection levels and schedule, and what emails to send the notification to. Tap update to save your settings. Tap SD card. This gives you the option to record on the SD card gives you the option to always record or scheduled recordings. It also gives you the option to overwrite when the memory card is full and gives you the card's information. Tap update to save. Tap admin. Here you can configure the date and time and what time zone the camera is in. You can also upgrade the camera if needed and reboot the camera. Tap update to save. An authentication window will again pop up. Tap the camera name in the camera list to view live video from the camera. The live feed displays the video and audio bandwidth, frames per second, and resolution. Tap the far left record button to record. Tap it again to stop recording. Tap the camera button to take a snapshot. Press OK to allow the Ping app to access the phone. Tap the alarm button to play an audio alarm on an external speaker which is not included. And press the microphone button to activate or deactivate the two-way audio using the phone's microphone and the external speaker which is not included. Press disconnect to return to the camera list. You can see the playback menu now has a folder of my recordings. And there you have it, the Lorix Ping app 
for the iPhone. Thanks for watching.